Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's learn some slang together. But first, gifticality means we're donating $1,000 to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Make-A-Wish grants life-changing wishes to children diagnosed with critical illnesses, and we are very proud to have been a part of a few of those wishes. Join us in giving at wish.org slash donate. Thank you for being your mythical best and for hanging out with us in this more. We've wrapped up a three-day tourney on dippage. I feel, I'm, I feel I, like we accomplished some things, out. man. I mean, I am at this point slightly regretting drinking all the ranch. Um, I mean, in the moment, I, I got a little caught up in the moment. You put me to it. Uh, I did enjoy it, but sometimes my stomach is bigger than the, the ranch pocket there inside of it. You know, I filled up the then ranch pocket. Then that wouldn't be a problem. Stomach, the, my the, eyes are bigger, my ranch, the eyes of my ranch pocket are bigger than the size of the pocket. Yeah, that's that's what I would have said if I were you. <laughs> um, let's just have some fun. Yeah, let's just have fun. Let's just have some fun. Right. Um, Stevie, how about this? Okay. You tell us what we're doing, and then we'll be like, that's a good idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read um, like an idiom or a phrase, I'll call these, that is that has food uh, in it. And then you're going to oh, guess Didn't mean to what show, you the, show you the view from the bottom. Okay. That's my, di that's my dip socket. All where, right. Wh where's your ranch pocket? That's my... That's my I guess that's it. It looks like I'm not wearing pants at all. <laughs> and and oh, there's some pants. <laughs> oh gosh. All of these idioms and phrases are from around the world, so I'll also tell oh. you where they're from. Oh. And when you both inevitably get it incorrect, I'll give you a sentence as a hint so that you can try and guess closer some to what it means. I'm not sure what's happening here, Stevie, uh, with Link. Um, this is this is a representation of what your stomach is doing with all that ranch. It's coming ripping. Out of the <laughs> My stomach is literally ripping open and ranch is going into the rest of my body. Can we make a compilation of every time Link is asked a question and then immediately <laughs> gone on to do another activity when Nick has immediately yeah. taken his shirt off? <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's happening. Um, why don't you just ask us the first one? A raisin in the sausage. <laughs> a raisin in the sausage. <laughs> So you're saying that this could refer to anything. It's like a fly in the ointment, but yeah, this, is, this a, is for people who make. This is a kidney stone. A raisin in the sausage. Yeah, this is when is, you got a kidney it's stone. It's like a saying. These are all sayings. I get like, it. I yeah, get it. Okay. I get it. It's it, it, it's from Ireland. A raisin in the sausage. Yeah, it's when you got a kidney stone on its last leg. Like it's come all, it's come all the way it's, down. No, it's a little piece of. <laughs> and it's now it's in the sausage, and you're like, I know. We knew. What, Hold we, on, but we, thing, I get it. But the thing, a lot of people don't know this, and I haven't had kidney stones, thank God. But um, they hurt when they're coming down from the kidney. Once they get into the sausage, it's actually home free. So a raisin in the sausage. Home not free. A, not a big deal. Not a the big raisins deal. in the sausage. You want no the raisin to... in the sausage. I think a raisin in the sausage is a little bit of good news in the midst of something in of a nasty time. It's like a silver lining. So the raisin's good and the sausage is Yeah, bad. it's a little sweet. Interesting perspective on that one. Okay, what is it? I I mean, Link is pretty dang close. It's a nice surprise in something that's already good. Oh, yeah, so both oh, things are Norway. good. Okay. Both things are good, but a nice little extra something. So okay, like, yeah, a raisin in the sausage. Yeah, round one, and you've already kind of gotten one. Right, and with every round, I'm gonna unbutton my shirt so that Rhett's granddad. No, he's not into that. Can take my photo. He's also been dead for quite some time. <laughs> to slide in on a, on a shrimp sandwich. That's she nice. really, she let me tell you, she slid in on a shrimp sandwich, you know? That's kind of how that would come out. I think uh, it's getting just under the wire, like by just barely getting, you know, barely taking care of business and some some test. Boy, she slid in on a shrimp sandwich. If she hadn't let, done that last little report, we would have let her go. I'm trying to make, I mean, what is a shrimp sandwich? A small sandwich. A, no. <laughs> A po' boy? A teeny little shrimp sandwich makes it under the water. Slid in on a shrimp sandwich. I, I don't know what is. I think it's just something bizarre, like out of left field. Like that was really out of left field. 
because it, it's nonsensical. Neither are correct, and as it pertains to just about everything, Kylie Jenner really slid in on a shrimp sandwich. Okay, oh, get right she, in did, so- she didn't earn it. She didn't earn it. She didn't earn it. Yeah. She, 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 yeah. When someone hasn't had to work to get where they are, and it's uh, from Sweden. Yeah, because they're sliding on shrimp sandwiches everywhere up there. Saw that on the internet. They, she got it. That sounds more like you got here by accident. Like if you step slid on a banana peel. Is what I would think. I think a shrimp sandwich is very slidey. That like it, yeah, like it, a banana peel. Yeah, and so that sounds a little different. It though. didn't. It didn't. She got here by accident versus she got here through no effort. Two different things. But if you slide on a shrimp sandwich, you didn't locomote yourself there. No points given. Dumplings over flowers. Dumplings over flowers. Um, that means I'd rather you do something that's gonna help me than just kiss my ass. Feed me, I think it's more specific. I'd rather be fed than wooed. Like this is about, um, dumplings over what, flowers? Dumplings over flowers. Yeah, do something meaningful for me. Feed me versus just flatter me. I think it's needs over wants. I think Brett's close. It's it's choose something useful over something pretty. Yeah. Hold on. And it's from Japan. Dumplings over flowers. I think that's what I was saying. Needs over wants. Uh, I was saying something that is not just superficial, a, a show of kindness. I want you to do something for me. Like if 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 my granddad in all his topless photos I, he died and then we realized that we wanted to put the topless photos in his casket with him. And you were like, "Well, here's some flowers." No, I'd be like, "No, just open up the casket and put the the topless photos in there with him because that's what I asked for. Dumplings over flowers." He's been dead over 25 years. I can talk like this. Okay. To give pumpkins to someone Pumpkins rot quickly. If, to give pumpkin, I just I kind of need it in a sentence because it's like I don't think that's one of the rules. She man. is it? Well, she gave me pumpkins, something worthless. Uh, pumpkins aren't worthless. I think pumpkins are empty compliments. I think that's too specific. I think it's more gene- generic, like just something you don't want. Like she gave me something I didn't want. Close. I mean, yeah, she it's me to pumpkins. reject someone. To give someone pumpkins, I guess, is to reject someone in Spain. So, you know, so what's the, what's the American? Issues. What is our idiom for that? When you reject, when you reject someone, it's like yeah, she she swiped, kicked him to the left. curb, kicked 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 you to the curb. Is it left? To live like a maggot and bacon. A <laughs> maggot and bacon. That sounds like it's like somebody, high on the high. Yeah, it's just somebody who's completely stepping in high cotton. What? Walking in high cotton. It means you're. It's just a saying that says you're on top of the world. You, you got a lot. You got a lot. You're 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 being overwhelmed with luxuries. Hashtag yeah. blessed. Yeah, it's from Germany to live luxuriously. Um, let me see. I kind of want to. So we both got that point. Yeah. Sure, he says. Yeah, that's right. To pace around hot porridge like a cat. Ooh, that means you are stepping so light. That means it's just like, I have to walk on eggshells around her. I think it's I think it's impatient because that cat's gonna eat that porridge when it cools off. Impatience. It, yeah, I think it's walking on eggshells. It means to avoid directly addressing something yeah. or neglecting mm. to speak your mind. And it's from Finland. Finland, huh? I think eggshells is better than that. Because it's like you're walking on eggshells. <sighs> gotta be real gotta, delicate. Gotta, gotta step real light. But a cat on porridge could potentially break it. But Cat around porridge, right? To pace around hot porridge like a cat. Yeah. And of okay. course we all know this last one. To hang noodles on the ears. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hang noodles on the ears. That is. That's to make someone look like an idiot. Um, Maybe to make themselves look like an idiot. I think when you hang noodles on your ears, you're trying to draw attention to yourself. 
Link's pretty close. It's to fool or lie to someone in oh. Russia. No, that's different, though. I can't give myself that one. I can't take that point, Stevie. That's okay. not what I meant. I'll take it back. Thank you. Take it back. Take, take that point back. But yeah, okay, so that's what I use. Are you hanging noodles on my ears? Lying to me. Is your, is your ear burning? Yeah, like a, it's adorning. Your nose itching? Adorning someone's ears with something. Yeah. yeah. Lying to them. Noodly. Is that it? Feeding yeah. me bull and keeping me in the blind. I think like we got, a mushroom. I think we got pretty good sayings here in America. We got bull crap. You know what that is. You got uh, high on the hog. You already said that. Um, That's where the good meat is. High on the hog. Uh, oh, really? Is that, is that what that saying? Oh, we're eating high on the hog tonight. Yeah, because the- I the, never knew that. The belly fat, the fatty meats were considered um, not good cuts of meat before people figured out how to cook them slowly to render the fat. Really? So the high, the high parts of the hog. Huh. That's the leanest, cleanest meat. Hmm. It's one of the, I just thought that that, I never thought that it had an origin, you know? So you, Cause you forget the origin, you just know what it means, but you don't know why it means it. Like a cow pissing on a flat rock. Well, that one's easy, cause it's like, it's because you have to say it's raining, right? Like a cow pissing on a flat rock. It's not like you're not. I'm I'm a cow pissing on a flat rock. That's not how you say that. Yeah, I mean, but you knew. I knew what you. So I knew high you knew on the I hog. Meant. High on the hog. I think I literally thought you were like riding, riding a, a hog. hog. Yeah, it's like boy, he's living large. Look, he's riding a hog, and he's way he, up there. He's pretty high up on it. Man, he's as high as he could get. What's like, another one? High on the hog. Um, low on the totem pole. Yeah, what's wrong with that though? What? I think a totem pole, that's ancestors. Uh, so what, what's wrong like with that? It's like a hierarchy. Is it? I think so. I if don't you're know. at the top, you're the best. High on the hog. High on the totem pole is also an expression. No, it's not. It should be. It's not though. Yeah. Low on the totem pole is. That's the one we were just talking about. Right. What's it another? When pigs fly. When pigs fly, because p pigs don't fly. But if they did, I'd be high on that hog. <laughs> <laughs> now you can be charmingly mythical. Get your mythical necklaces at mythical.com.